Yep, there it goes. The Leafs going at Anaheim on a second out of a back to back, and they fell up and they fall apart at the last minute. As the Leafs lose, as you can tell, four three in overtime to the Anaheim Ducks, and with that, they are not, they're now four four and two of the season. And they blew a the lead. They blew a three three one lead, and just like that, you lost your three games in California. One of them, which is a team that's actually well better team, and the rest are just stupid. It's just the rest of them are just laughing stock teams. Where do I begin with this game? It is just an absolute disaster because the Leafs had a lead in that game, and they decide, and the Ducks decide to take that away, and we completely stink. Great, great stuff. On a second out of a back to back, it sucked. Oh God. Yeah, it doesn't work out in the in the long run. Uh, boy, oh boy. First period, um, you actually get the power play, and you score first, and you're up. Well, actually, Austin Matthews scores his first his third goal of the season on the power play, assisted by Mitch Marner and William Nylander with assists at four twenty three. You took in the one nothing lead. I like this. You start off on time. Until 11 minutes and 23 seconds, Silverberg scores, assisted by Derek Grant and Lunderstorm. Uh, hold, actually, that was Jacob Silverberg, assisted by Derek Grant and Isaac Lunderstorm at 11 and 23. And it's a tie game. But then Dennis Malkin scores, and it is now a 2 1 lead. Dennis Malkin scores his second, assisted by Nylander and Robertson. And just like that, you're two. You start off plenty of time. You start on the right foot, and you are up two one coming into the after the end of the first period. Shots on goal wise for Anaheim's fourteen to seven. Oh, sorry, um, seventeen for nine. Sorry, I was looking at the second, but oh, oh well. Second period, no score at the end. I'm like, yep. I was deb. Yeah, that was kind of boring because. I could have done other things, like, you know, I could have been building that Lego ATST at this time, but it was scoreless, so what do you do instead? Do nothing. And it's 2-1 after second, and you're up four, and shots on goal-wise, 14-7, favor of Anaheim. Thus being, it is 24 to 24-23, as of 24-23, to Toronto. Third period wise, well, this is where it starts to fall apart in the real long. Talon Jerome scores with 45 seconds, shorthanded, assisted by Alexander Kerford and TJ Brody. This should put the game away. Hopefully, we can win this game. Yeet! Trevor Zegris scores with 7 minutes and 24 seconds, and you're and it was assisted by Troy Terry. Troy Terry really at his fifth of the season. And just like that, it's a five. It's a three-two Leafs lead. At least we can still handle this, right? Wrong, because Dmitry, who is it? Dmitry Kulkov scores his first goal of the season, assisted by Shattenkirk and Frank Vetrano at thirteen oh one, and it's a tie game. I'm like, are you kidding me? We had a shot. We had to extend the lead. And no, we had this happen with the Ducks coming back from a 3-1 deficit. <sighs> Here we go again. And then, of course, later, uh, with, of course, we saw what happened. Sheldon Keep calls a timeout. And boom. Mitch Murray gets gets put on the bench. And all he did was took the goddamn stick, break it, come back. He does not play. Like, that was the big issue. You should have had, should have kept Mitch Marner. But you didn't! Oh, one hour, one thing. The Ducks take the lead. But, however, however, it was goaltender interference. Thank God it didn't count anyway, because, boy, if that didn't count, I would, I, if that counted, I would lo lose it at this time. And then, that's like that. Your, t your shots on goal, 10 of 12. 35. Five to thirty-four Anaheim, twelve to ten in the third period, twelve to five in overtime. 
And then, of course, yeah, this is where the big issue comes in. You head into overtime, and this is where I start to lose it at this point because the Ducks come back. They, Trevor Zegret, of course, Mitch Marner, it should have been the OT goal winner. But instead, that gets gloved by freaking, you know, by freaking John Gibbons. And like I mentioned, it should have been the goal game winner. But instead, you let Zegers go on the break, on the two-on-one, and he scores his sixth goal of the season, assisted by Ryan Strom. Yeah, that's it. Why did we lose to the Anaheim Ducks? They're a laughingstock team. And they're, they were like 1 6 and 1. And then you lose to Anaheim. Which now they're 2 6 and 1. How do you blow a 3 1 lead to the Anaheim Ducks? How? Anaheim, good game. But that wasn't supposed to happen. You should be ashamed of yourself, Anaheim. We had a 3 1 lead, and the Ducks just <sighs> decided to take that away, and boom, we're done. Like, are you kidding me? How is that even possible? We had a 3 1 lead in it. You took that away. Why? Why? Oh, and not to mention. Not to mention. Yeah. It was all bloody hell and there's nothing I can do about it. Shots on goal on the other run. 39-36. Yeah, that's it. John Gibbons only saved, had three goals against him. Saved 33 goals. Uh, 36 wise. But shots on goal against him. Um, 36. He had a save percentage of 9.17. Chalgren, 39, save, 39 shots on goal. He let four goals get by him. 35. He made 35 saves and he made a 0.897% save percentage. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, look, why did you lose this game? We had this in the bag and the Leafs decide to lay off and boom, lay another goose egg. You lost to San Antonio. No. Sorry. You lost to the San Jose Sharks, which I should have beaten in overtime. That was like going to get any shot, I got dang it. And then you lose to the Kings, which it's unbearable to watch at this point. The Kings, like, it was terrible from start to finish. And you lose to Anaheim. You lose to Anaheim, who is one who had one loss and six losses at the time. One, what, who cares? Six losses and one win and one overtime loss. Who, who cares? It's so bad that we couldn't even do squat. Are you kidding me? We had a lead and they took it away. This should have been a goal turning point where we could have been 5-4-1. Four, four, and one. No, not this time. You know what? I'm done. I can't take it anymore. Crap.